So welcome back. Thank you, Vinny. Did you guys manage to forget your name? I didn't think about my name. Okay, good. Your question, Vinny, I didn't get it. What was that? What was your question? Did we manage to forget what? Forget your name. Oh, I didn't think about that either. <laughs> I didn't ask also, yeah. But my body was vibrating, so I was in the zone. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice noticing. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. About your hoodie, congratulations. <laughs> That's very nice. <laughs> so did you wear it? <laughs> Uh, it's a it's it's long sleeve hoodie, so it's a little bit too it's hot for the winter. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe fall, maybe in in another month or two, maybe. Yeah, sure. I'll be Are you all going to Sifu on Saturday and Sunday? Not Tatiana. Yeah, me and yeah. Vinny and me. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Hmm. You, Draga, you going? I haven't decided yet. Like last time I was there, I wasn't feeling well next day, so I'm not sure. What do you think, Vinny? You did a big healing. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> On a Saturday. Of course, you your body is readjusting. Of course, you didn't feel so well. Oh, yeah, I just didn't feel well next day. Hmm. Yeah. So now I'm afraid. Like I'm now worried. Should I go? Should I not go? I won't go on Saturday for sure, but I'm thinking of Sunday. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm asking you, what do you think? Should I or shouldn't I? I am not gonna answer that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's you're so not... diplomatic. <laughs> that is that is not for me to find out. That is for you to find out. Do you want to go? <sighs> Oh, I definitely want to go. No, I I like to go. And what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the answer. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh. It's um. Well, if it were me, I I can't say for anyone else. Is is really no? You know, now is the time to confront like really let go of fear mm -hmm. besides you are going to to see for james if you feel not well um you just have to go up to see for james and ask him to fix you <laughs> okay <laughs> and fix me for next day so i'm okay next day too come on <laughs> you're not you're not seeing you know anyone else it's see for james <laughs> <laughs> i yeah <laughs> I, um, but, but yeah that energy was so strong it was like oh unbelievably strong is carla going yeah carla registered she's going <laughs> but she's going only for sunday not for saturday yeah sunday we have to come a little early for the meditation mm -hmm. Was it raining today? It, it looks like a cloud. Yeah. Yeah. I never looked out till now. <laughs> it's okay. so dull. Energy. Oh, okay. You know, guys, we're not done yet. <laughs> oh, that's oh, what I was saying. <laughs> I still have some things to talk about. <laughs> that was not the 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 ending meditation. That was oh. That was yeah, the that it's a meditation to still on record, yeah. Yeah, that, that's just a meditation just to get uh get ourselves to um get to zero, like get to no reference point. When you get to no reference point, that it's actually oh, I have a message maybe closer than you think. Felicia oh. Oh, telephone. So I cannot totally do <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> okay, I still have uh, actually just 
just a little bit more to, to talk about. Um, so a little bit more on tracking information. Yes. Hang on. Tracking information. Okay. So, so I talked about a lot already. Um, it's part of it is really to prepare to get to an altered state. And um, also is to get to zero so that you have no reference point and you're not, you know, you're not trying to um, interpret information from your own bias. So when you get to an altered state and you, you know, um, really need to let go of who you are. So definitely, um, this is just one, the meditation I took you through is just one way that you can get to um, zero reference point. The other way that you can get there is to really get to um, the seventh dimension, I believe. It's it's one, one, two, eight. That's kind of the, well, actually six dimension will do. Like any, any one that's five or above should be fine, which is you, you don't know, you don't remember your name anymore. So when you have no name and then you are in, then you, whatever information that comes in, you would be able to interpret it as is not from your own bias. So the other thing I want to talk about is, um, it's really when you get information when you track information is that don't expect that you're going to get a whole full download all at once and you know you are the big kahuna big guru and you can download everything all at once um you may be able to do that but don't expect that that's going to happen Just start with just having one piece of the puzzle and think of it as as really assembling the 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 puzzle as well. So you're just getting one bit of information. It could be a bit of information um, could be so when I first do my first um, remote viewing of Moderna, the one bit of information I got, the, this one word um, that I got was blockage, blocking. So that, and I have to ask more questions in order to recover more information. So you get one piece of information, one bit of in information, which could be a word. It could be just a feeling or it could be a color. It could be a, a feeling of whether something is hot or soft, or is it um, hot or cold? So something like that, you only get, a, you, you may only get a little piece of information. And that's great because you're getting something. So don't, don't, um, don't think that, oh, I only got one one piece of information, so I must have failed. No, you got one piece, one piece of the puzzle. So once you have a piece, and then you know that you you are on the trail. So you just have to go and ask some open-ended question. And for example, I got the word blockage. So I, my question was, if I were to know, where is that blockage happening? And then so the next piece of information come is between the first and the second layer, um, energetic layer. So, so then I, I kind of know, oh, okay, that's where that is. And then I'll ask the next question and the next question. So that's really how my own experience of um, tracking information is is sometimes it will come as a, a like a visual it may come as water for example I would and and then it's and then I would ask okay where's this this um, 
this uh, uh, water? Is it in the ocean or is it in a bathtub? Where is it? So, because um, the, the more information I, I get, the easier it is for me to get the whole picture. But when I track information, it's usually it, just one or two pieces of information will come. Um, ask more open-ended questions. And then when you ask more questions, then more answer will come. And then it will, and then you will start to um, put all the pieces of the puzzle and kind of, and lets you see more of the picture. And you still may not be able to see the full picture and that's okay. Cause sometimes that's all that you can see in one sitting. And that's why I, I did uh, multiple kind of uh, tracking a couple of times because each time I go in, when I tweak my own state, when I get to be more neutral, when I get to be more um, uh, closer to the zero point, mm -hmm. I would get another piece of the information, more of the puzzle. So that for me is what, um, is tracking energy is you have to be patient with yourself and also know um, which is your own, what is your own strength as well. Some people are really good at um, being able to see vision, being able to see visuals. And some people are very good at um, feeling, feeling, like a mood, whether it is good, um, soft, or feeling as in um, hot or soft. So you just kind of notice when you track energy, what what is the easiest piece of information that comes to you. And the more you track energy, the, the more you will notice these things and these things about yourself. And also, um, when you ask question, is give yourself permission to like um, don't think of it that oh I have to be right. Is yes, sometimes the information you will not be able to verify it for the longest time. However, um, the more you allow yourself to just be open to all the information that comes. <clears throat> so when you do multiple remote sessions, <clears throat> You can verify the information by um, the way you structure your the, the the energy tracking. So I can track. Um, so let's say you track something at a certain point. Let's say on on Thursday on Thursday August the twenty fifth, ten a.m. in the morning track track that information and then you verify it by um, having another target which is let's say 10 o'clock at night same day but 10 o'clock at night so you can verify to, to see what information you get at 10 a.m in the morning and then 10 p.m at night if those information um, are able to corroborate with each other, then you know more of, then, then you become more sure of the information that you're getting. So really be willing to be wrong because even the best um, energy tracking, if you can get 60, 70% of your information right, it's 
already very good. It's already very good. Because most people start with maybe one out of three is right. <clears throat> but you still keep going, keep going because it is a muscle. Being able to get information out of thin air is something that the more you do, the easier and the more um, on target you will be. So if you think of, well, I get one this piece of information, it, it, I check it, it's wrong. I can't do this. This is not right for me. I will leave it to the, the, the experts. If, if you think of it like that, then you will never get better. So this is a, it's, it's like learning how to um, do sit-ups. The more you do it, you build up that muscle and it becomes easier and easier. So let's see, anything else I have missed? Can I ask a question? Absolutely, yes. Can we win lotteries this page? <laughs> um, yes, you can. However, there is one thing though. <clears throat> Um, it depends on how your left and your right brain works with each other because um, lottery numbers, they are numbers and numbers are your left brain. Whereas when you get information, you're relying on your right brain. So from a right brain point of view, a number, what is a number? If you ask your, your right brain, is it a one or is it a two? It does not know. It does not care. <clears throat> but you have to ask the question is, does it feel? How, does, how do you feel when it is a one? Do you feel good? Do you feel a certain thing? So feeling is a right brain. So the right brain would be able to pick up that information. Um, for example, the the when I when I get when I win my uh, my hoodie, I have this feeling of really I love it. So so I know that it is mine if I want it. So at the back of my mind, like I just know <laughs> that if I buy that ticket, the chances of me getting this hoodie is pretty good. <laughs> How do I know? because of the feeling. So in order to get to the point of um, the numbers, remember how Sipu James download the, the coaster, these numbers? He didn't download it with, okay, one or three. He write down a number and he feel, is this right or not? So it is by feeling, whereas numbers is the left brain. So <clears throat> you have to get to the point where your left brain and your right brain can work with each other. Then you can download any number you want. Lottery numbers, sure, not a problem. But you have to make sure you find a way for your left and your right brain to be able to work together. Because one is number, one is feeling. However, it is definitely doable because Sifu James downloaded these numbers and they are like, like that's a lot of numbers to download. So, yes. Interesting. That's very interesting, I know. <laughs> no joke, I actually had the... 30 years ago dream, I dreamt about numbers for 649. Yeah. And I I swear to God, it's the truth. So I played them, like, let's say it was Wednesday. I dreamt Tuesday night. So I played Wednesday and I played probably like next time around and nothing came up and I stopped playing. So third time around, they came up. Ah, you yeah. so I missed that. Like, I should have continued playing, but I just said, okay, though it didn't come up, so I just 
stop playing. So that was my opportunity. So it was 649? Yeah. You... yeah, I had uh, uh, And then I played them later for years, but nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> True story. OK. Uh, Next time you dream of numbers. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I never. That was the only one. Uh, uh -huh. You know what? Give yourself permission to dream of numbers then. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think, uh, let's see, make sure I have covered everything. Uh, yeah, I think I covered everything. So any questions so far? Now we, we can all become um, lottery winners. <laughs> yes, I wish I will be lottery winner. I guess you all saw a movie staring uh, at the goats or something like this. With, uh... Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> men who stare at goats. Yeah, men who stare. I saw it, I looked and I watched it twice. It was, it was a nice, it was a funny movie. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually based on a true story. Oh. It, it absolutely was a true story. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, based on a true story. <clears throat> I forgot the story. <laughs> I saw the movie. Um, there is a a YouTube video called Third Eye Spy talks a lot about that um, pro, uh, US uh, program mm -hmm. of the psychic spies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're interested to you know more about it, then yeah, look up that. It's, it's free. Third, Third Eye Spy, spy. Yeah, I'm going to see. Right. No, Third Eye Spy, it's called. Yeah. And um, yeah, I. I remember a long time ago, I, I, bought, I, I came across this book called Mind Track. It's Joe McGonigal. Um, so why did I buy that book? I don't know. The name was just, that was before I, I, I went into all these more intuitive um, um, uh, hobbies, let's say. <laughs> I came across the, the book called Mind Track, um, Joe McGonagall. So, yeah, Joe McGonagall was one of the, the people that um, was in this program. So he, he wrote this book talking about remote viewing. It was riveting, <laughs> riveting read for me. <laughs> so anyways, um, Questions, new questions, comments? Super interesting topic. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, so we, we don't just, we're not just able to track energy. So tracking energy is the first step. We can also transform energy as well. So that's, that's really the, to take it further. So that's for another episode of Play Shop. I'll talk more about how to transform energy. It's definitely interesting, but you guys know how to do that already. Like Tatiana mentioned that um, she healed her own right leg. Yeah. So that's transforming energy. Right feed, but not till the end. I still have some left. I have to do it more. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's all do it together right now. So so think of so um, Tatiana, just think of your right feet, where it is, and and anybody who wants to participate, then just do this. Just have the intention to focus on Tatiana's right feet, wherever it is, and just get that energy pattern. OK. 
Okay. And then just set the intention that you want to zoom in. Go all the way into to see the cell. Just pick any one cell within the right feet. And then zoom all the way into the cell. Be able to see the DNA strands, all different atoms that make up the DNA cell. And then zoom all the way into that atom, into one atom, one particular one, so that you can actually see into the space, the field, that's within that atom. Simply set the intention for that field to become coherent. So coherent that All the field that is within that area becomes coherent as well. So what's happening to your right foot? I don't feel much, but it's become calmer. I feel, I think, I don't know. Can you stand up on it and just move it around mm -hmm. and see how you feel? It's actually better. I don't have that pain inside. Is it at the bottom of your foot or top? Bottom. bottom. In in the, in the middle. Okay. I still I still have pain far away, but but much much better. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> How long did that take? What? How long did that take? Not very long. Few minutes. Yeah. So so we definitely can transform energy. Yeah. The uh, the trick is really to get uh, get good at tracking energy. At what energy is it? Tracking. Oh, tracking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, once you track it, because when you track it, it's, it's like you um, get the, uh, the the frequency. The frequency of it. Once you get the frequency of it, you can just send an intention. So easy to. But you don't get a number for the frequency. Can we ask? Please? I um you can ask. I have not asked. But you can ask. See if you get a number. So when when we um tracking energy, for example, of food, what it does like 
what my how it heals. Um, I don't quite understand the question. What are you talking about? Like when we tracking the uh, energy of that place of my body, when when for example I have pain, uh, we just show the body that we acknowledge the pain or how it works, how it heals. Like we look at the we look at the cell at the atom, but what we doing? Like we acknowledge. Or how it works, how is the healing works then? Um, how the healing works. So there are so many methods. What I did was <clears throat> just a field. So field. Usually when energy um, work is working well, then it is coherent. And when it is not working well, it's incoherent. So it's like all this here, like everywhere. So that's all I, I did was to just go to the field and ask for coherence. That's all. Mm. So the... the the coherence itself, once the field know that you want coherence, then it will start to radiate coherence. Then your body will start to know that, oh, she wants coherence. So let's give her coherence. And then you would just, your body would just, um, the pain would just sort itself out because it is inco it is coherent. Got it. Thank right? you. It's so simple. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It is simple. Yeah, it is. It is that simple. And 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 you we know so many things that we can do. And we can actually send in um healing energy. So 800 nm and 380 nm. So those are healing energies as well. So many ways of shifting energies. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay, if not, then let's do, let's actually do one, a meditation that is for, uh, let's go to, um, yeah. 64 at least so that's six dimension so it's uh 